Hello there, let's talk old money and old money baby names. My name is Sarah Jane. I'm a British baby name consultant who doesn't really talk like this, but I am very much enjoying doing so for this introduction. Old money names is a huge trend online right now. Do I sound very proper, BBC? Uh, it probably is a very British trend and <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> so old money is the most talked about trend for 2023 and looking into the trend reports for next year it's going absolutely nowhere. Old money originally was somebody who inherited their wealth and we talk a lot about people with old money here in the UK. So new money is seen sometimes as you know somebody who's up and coming more entrepreneurial whereas old money would be these big historic families in the UK um, who pass down their wealth through generations. It's very aristocratic. Whew. Um, and it's gained so much popularity in terms of the way that people style this look. But the names are timeless and classic, but what I've done now is found some really, really forgotten vintage names I think perfectly fit within the theme. We also have a sponsor for today's baby name list, and that is the very, very stylish Betty Bramble. So this is a fashion brand that actually this collab is with me. Uh, me and more specifically my sister. So my sister's called Naomi, you probably know her from the podcast. Uh, we used to do together. Naomi sadly died in May this year, very, very suddenly, very, very tragically, not suddenly, of bowel cancer. Um, and before she died, we were creating this range of sweatshirts together. Um, they're very, very high-end, beautiful quality sweatshirts, which is what she was really, really keen on having. Um, and all of them hold an affirmation on the inside sleeve of your sweatshirt. So there's four affirmations. There is and breathe, there is I am loved, there is always and forever, which is very much a great one for if you're missing somebody um, or you want to send your support to somebody. And we also have I am an ass. Um, and my sister used to wear these to chemo and they really, really helped her and we wanted to bring them out in memorial of Naomi. So I will link that below. I will be sharing them as I go for the next few weeks. So um, yeah, I'm very proud of them. And thank you very much for Betty Bramble for being such supporters to my sister and I, as well as you guys have. So where I found these names is forgotten vintage names. I'm not gonna sit here and say Charles, Charles, <laughs> say Charles, say Henrietta, and the ones you kind of know about. I wanted to take you a little bit rarer because that's where I can add some more value and some sparkle to your baby name list. My first one is for boys and it's the name Jenkin. I love it, it's got old school, surname as first name vibes it almost sounds a bit like jeeves like a little bit like a posh butler but it definitely puts me straight back into one of those aristocratic households it actually means little john or john the little so a lot of these names i've looked at because John and Michael are old money names, but where they have been adapted, this was adapted to Flemish and it became Jenkin. And I love that kin actually means family or folk, where you're from. And so it's perfect for an old money vibe. And I just think it's a really, really great name. A Victorian gem I found is the name Redvers. You know, I love names that end in S. River is so popular, it's one of our fastest trending names. And I think that Redvers really, really fits within that, but is so much grander. It actually was really popular popular in the Victorian times after a soldier, Sir Redvers Buller, who was a British army soldier. We just had Remembrance Sunday and he was given the very rare Victoria Cross um, for his services during the war. And then the name became popular and that was often how a lot of families did get names. If it was royals, if it wasn't royals, it would have been military. So I really, really like the name Redvers. I think it really, really matches a modern family and it means place of rivers. So it's really, really nice if you can't kind of quite get river in then you might be able to sort of think okay I could, I could go with Redford sometimes it's just that little nudge that makes you love it one of my favorite names first time I ever posted on Instagram as a name nerd page baby name envy check it out was the name Ludo I just loved this name it is short for Ludovic um, which is a famous German name and it means spear and I just thought Ludo just sounds so trendy sorry my the sun's coming in and out um, today but I thought it was quite nice um, I just absolutely love it I think it's so playful I actually personally love the name Hugo um, and I think that Ludo is a much rarer part I used to live in Richmond which is one of the poshest places in London, it's where Ted Lasso is set, but I've never watched. Um, and I remember a little boy in my son's ukulele class when they were three, that's how posh it was, called Ludo. And I was like, I'm in, I'm all in for it. Um, I just think it's so playful and fun. And I like 
prefer these old money names when they've got a bit of that playful spark to them. I think that makes it a lot more cheeky and fun and, you know, posh boys who are fun. You know, that's what we want. Uh, Montagu, what a cool name. I really, really like it. Again, it's got the surname as first name vibes. And I know that Monty is on a lot of people's name list, but I really like adding the length with Montagu. Um, it means pointy hill, uh, which is a beautiful nature name. So you have that sort of Montana vibe to it as well. Mountainous, if you're very outdoorsy, I think Montagu could really, really suit you. As a family, um, there's also, obviously it's Romeo's surname in Romeo and Juliet. So he's Romeo Montagu and she's Juliet. Yet Capulet, so I should always think we sound better the other way around, Shakespeare. <laughs> Sorry to diss you. <laughs> if I was naming you with you, uh, I would have gone Juliet Montagu, Romeo Capulet. Just sounds better. Um, but anyway, for you, Montagu, three syllable boy names, really, really beautiful, really rare. No one's using this, but it is historic. It is a historic name. It's not one of these like flash fashion the pan, flash in the pan, fast fashion names. Um, I think it's really nice. John T. I like the name John T a lot. Again, it's son of Jonathan. So a bit like we had earlier on with Ludo being short for Ludovic. Um, and these names are really, really playful. And I really like John T. I think it makes me smile. Um, we just talked about Monty. And I just think John T is really, really playful. I'm really, really fan. What do you think of it? I love it. Um, we talked about it on the podcast once, actually. We did recommend it to somebody. I just think if you've got like, playful names like Felix, like Jasper on your list, John T could really, really slot in as a sibling name or as an alternative name. Edgar, this is a bit more classic old money style. Uh, if you purists, you might be like, she's gone. But I'm trying to find rarer gems. But Edgar, I do really, really love. You think of Edgar Allan Poe, who was a really famous writer. And this theme should have some literary grounding to it. He was also well known as a gothic writer. So a little bit dark academia as well, Edgar. And I really, really like it. I think it's underused. We hit Edward so much and I would 100% go with Edgar over Edward or I would go with Edwin over Edward because I just think you can be much more playful with it. And you get a rarer gem, which is really nice because they're going to be called Eddie. <laughs> of the day it always ends up being called eddie and it actually means riches and it's an anglo-saxon name so you couldn't get more old money style atticus i was looking for long boy names and this has a place in my heart i really love the name atticus and i wanted it for finn a little bit but um i couldn't get my husband on board with it but then one of my absolute favorite podcasts at the moment is called the balanced blonde uh which is a strange title but she does like a really lovely podcast and her little boy's atticus when she talks about him i'm like oh it's one that got away um it's a very very historical name it means son from attica which is athens so again a very very throwback name that's not quite hitting the top charts yet but i think should be hitting a name list there we go this name i wanted to put on a list for so long and i was like i'm just gonna do it just go with it because i think it's perfect for this list and it's the name cubby so it's spelled C-Y-B-I and it's Welsh and it's Cubby and I just have loved it for so long I thought when can I use it and this list is perfect because it's some historical, it was a saint in Wales, Cubby and then there was also, there was a king of Cornwall at one point called Salomon and his son was Cubby so it's a historical prince so it's old money, I'm going with it um, I just think it's got that nobleman side to it, it's totally rare and I really want to give you rare gems and I just think the Cubby is so amazing i just literally love it um and i just think it should hit so many for lists have you ever heard it before i'd be really fascinated and my last one is azarius so this is a rare biblical name like noah and all those things are quite old runny you'll hear them in all the posh public schools um and i just really like azarius again to take a longer name it's really, really trendy. You can just totally see this little boy with this name. It's a lot like Atticus, I know, but I just thought it might appeal to a lot of you because it's biblical. It's actually the name of Angel Raphael, which is a great old money name. Um, when he becomes takes human form, he went with Azarius. So it's really interesting, one, isn't it? Do you love? And then the girls for this trend is obviously amazing. Penny. I really love the name Penny like I could be a penny um it's just really old school name short for Penelope but has been around for years and years and hasn't come back yet so one of these rare rare vintage nickname as first name names and it's got very old school money vibes to it you can definitely see it as like a great grandma name that's coming back through it's interesting because it literally means money because a penny is a unit of money and in the UK should know that if you say to spend a penny that's slang for going to the toilet and that was because you used to have to put a penny into the public toilets to go and use them so now it's kind of a bit of a 
slang term to bend a penny, but no one says it now. <laughs> or do you? Do you? Maybe very posh people do. I'm going to spend a penny, I'm just like, game to the loo. Um, so, Euphemia. Euphemia was on quite a few of your name lists at the moment. I've had it on about four or five name lists quite recently when people send me their name lists, which I love. Um, pop yours below of the ones that you're not going to use because I know you're keeping your best ones from me. Um, so it's a Victorian name for girls that again has not come back and is really beautiful and it means good speaker or well spoken. I'm really aware of my voice in this video um and then you've got effie which is a really really cute nickname and a very very posh effie um so posh i think um but i think it's a beautiful beautiful name is if i given away one of your favorite hidden gems how about the name cressida i always really liked the name cressida cressy i just think it's really really pretty um i love s sounding names i think it's really lovely it means gold very old money um or she was also in greek mythology so very very ancient ancient name this one. I thought that it was beautiful. Cresta is also a Shakespearean name and you can go with Ida which comes up on a lot of old money kind of name lists if we're looking for something shorter and sweeter. I thought Cressa Dare with the nickname Ida could be really lovely rather than Cressy. So see what you think or would you go with something else? Sid so old money to be called Cressa Dare he goes by Sid. That is that's it. That is what's going to be happening down in Chelsea. Araminta. I like this name so much. I definitely had this on a really, really old school name list, if you remember it, because I, again, in my nursery, there was a little girl called Araminta whose name was Minty, back in Richmond. <laughs> she went by Minty, and it means prayer or protection, and I just really like it. I think it's dead trendy. Like I said, you can go with Minty, but I also thought you could go with Tintin. I went to a party on Saturday, met a girl called Tintin and I was like, you're so posh, you're so posh. Your name is probably Araminta and everyone in your friendship group calls you Tintin. And she was dead trendy and dead posh. So I was like, very, very cool. I really, really like that one. Uh, how about Trudy for girls? Now you might disagree with me here. So Gertrude is a long form. It's a totally forgotten name, it has not come back. And I don't love Gertrude, but I do really like Trudy. And I feel like it could fit in with this old money vibe as this forgotten kind of vintage name. It used to be in the top 30s in 1880 to 1910 in the UK, so Gertrude. So it definitely would have been this old money name. Would you go with Gertrude? Then you could do Trudy or Gertie. Uh, we talked about Gertie maybe just last week. Um, but I just really do like Trudy and it means strength of a spear, so it's got that old money, kind of strong, noble family vibe going for it. Honor or Honora. You could do either way, you can add the A on the end to make it longer and a bit grander, maybe all the name Honor. So this was a really traditional way of naming our children after virtues and Honor being a very lofty one. Um, and I really like the name out of all of the virtue names. It's one that I really, really love. I think it sounds really lovely and I quite like Honora because it's just really, really pretty and we love names that end with an A and it's so unranked at the moment, but again, was a really popular name. It was introduced to the Britons by the Normans and was just used a lot way back when where this old money started and coming into the future so I just think again it's got that glamour to it to me that this old money vibe has how about again the name Gilda Gilda actually means gold um, or gilded but I'm wondering if this name is going to really boom when Wicked the musical comes out as a movie as well um, I just think it's really really trendy a little bit playful again, but really, really rare. And I thought she could go by Gigi. So if you like Gigi, but you want a longer form of it, Gilda. Is, it is, it's polarizing maybe. Let me know, are you polarized? Is that how you feel right now? <laughs> Is that a legitimate feeling or are you just in love or hate? I just think it's really, really cool. I think it's so offbeat and you'd have a really, really cool and trendy name. Hyacinth is one of my favourite underused vintage girl names. Um, the flower, that blue purpley flower, I think that old money, you could so see this as an upper class name um, and it hasn't come back. Obviously in the UK we used to have this show, um, I can't remember the name of the show, but it was Hyacinth Bouquet, Keeping Up Appearances. And she, her name was Hyacinth, and it was this joke that she was always trying to be kind of old school money and old posh, but she really, really wasn't. And she was like, Hyacinth Bouquet. Um, so, <laughs> random fact. But I've always loved the name, and whenever I say it, I just think it's really, really beautiful, and such a shame that it's not being used. Another early Welsh saint name, the name Arianel. Isn't that lovely, Arianel? 
so old school money to me and it means silver so again very much in with the money and the riches um arianelle and that longer name that's quite you know it's almost tough to say she'd probably have a double barreled surname um she's gonna be trendy she's gonna be like you know unforgettable basically arianelle and i think it's really lovely so Ari the original welsh name was spelt a r i a n r h o d and it meant silver and also wheel or round so it's, some people associate it also with the moon which is really really lovely i'm gonna finish i'm just throwing in an extra girl name which is theodora with the nickname teddy because uh, it was my sister's favorite and she always wished she'd gone with it and i think teddy again is so upper class for girls but absolutely wearable and adorable i hope you've enjoyed this old money list if you have, please share it with a pregnant friend uh, who you could help name a baby. Please hit subscribe. Um, it really helps me to grow my channel. If you hit subscribe, so many people, as every YouTuber says, 70% of you are not subscribed. It takes a second and it really helps YouTubers out. I'll leave the link for Betty Bramble who sponsored this video below and have brought out that range in memorial of my sister. Um, it's really, really special to us and I'm thrilled about it. And I will see you on next week's Baby Name Monday. Do let me know themes and ideas and more names you would add to this list below hope the sunshine hasn't bothered you too much it's actually been quite nice for me <laughs> see you soon guys bye